potatoes, it's Friday, the day that I'm posting this. Welcome to No Footage Friday. Well, I kind of have some footage that I'll show you later from this past weekend. I'm getting ready to go to the gym, and we started potty training again yesterday. He peed on the potty twice and pooped once. I wasn't even aiming for pooping, but it happened. So, um, he has not gone on the potty this morning, so he's just kind of hanging out here. <laughs> so there are a lot of different, uh, practices, I guess you could say, theories on how to potty train. I tried one yesterday from the book Moms on Call that I swear by. I talk about all the time. You're probably like so sick of me talking about it. Um, but they said to just give your kid a potty break every two hours, which backfired yesterday because we had a lot of accidents. So I might cut it down to every hour. Or I might try the other theory where you put your kid on the potty every 20 minutes, blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. It's a learning process for both of us. And it's also, do you let your kid run around naked or do you let him wear big kid pants? It's just, you know, we'll see what works for him. So since it's Friday morning, we're getting ready to go to the gym. I go Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I do cardio from like 9.15 to 10. And then I work with my trainer from 10 to 11. Since our wedding last year, I have put on 15 pounds despite going to the gym religiously. And I know why. It's because I eat like shit and I drink. So I have recently stopped drinking which is kind of boring, but it's also freeing. <laughs> it's kind of nice. Okay, let's see. And I have all of his clothes up here because if they're over there, he'll play with them during nap time. Phil gets kind of frustrated because he's like, I don't know where any of the clothes are. I'm like, they're right there. You just have to look for them. What else has been going on? Whoops, forgot the diaper. I've uh, been looking at preschools again and a bunch of them, most of them that I really like, like I don't want to start him at a preschool and have to switch him to like a more advanced one once he's two and a half, and most of them start at like two and a half. So um, I signed him up for a bunch of activities because I know he's, <sighs> I thought I heard him peeing. Uh, I know he's getting bored just being at home. I can't like stimulate him enough for his growing brain. So next week he's gonna start swimming lessons again, which I'm really excited about. He's taking like six weeks off, six months off. So that'll be good to have in time for summer. We are redoing our backyard to, uh, we're gonna have, well, I'll just leave it as a surprise, but we're re-landscaping and we're gonna have like this big play area, which is gonna be fun. And what else? So yeah, looking at preschools, applying to preschools, but not, he won't start till the fall. And this is how my brain works. I'm just like so scatterbrained. Um, there's another big thing. Oh, he's gonna start soccer lessons, classes. I'll just call it a soccer group uh, at the end of, or the middle of April. Um, that'll be something he does with Phil on Sundays. Let's see, what are a few more things I can cover in a short amount of time that we have? Disney was awesome. I didn't mean to offend you guys when I said that Animal Kingdom sucks. I saw that I hurt people's feelings, but a lot of the people's feelings that I hurt work there. I have to say that Disney employees everywhere that we went are incredible. They go out of their way to help you. They just are so friendly, so helpful, like, it was great. So it's nothing on you, employees. It's just, I really didn't enjoy the park. Um, we didn't go on the safari ride because the, app, the wait was 100 minutes, 90 or 100 minutes. Um, but the thing is, I wouldn't just go, unless, unless you have a lot of time, I wouldn't just go to a park to ride one ride. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's why I had that opinion, my bad. I went to put on deodorant and I come back and he has my boots on. Do you wanna wear those to the gym? <laughs> I bet those are comfy, huh? Maybe we'll have to get you some. Workout, done, woohoo! What? No. Did you miss your friends? No. Really? No. Oh, okay. We're gonna try to go potty now. Here is some footage from last weekend when we went to Medieval Times. Okay, so it was a very low-key weekend at home for us because we've all been so busy for the past like week and a half. But we figured, you know, it's Sunday night. Why not go to Medieval Times? So we drove an hour and we're gonna see some. What are we gonna see, Trey? What are we gonna go see? No, no. Nay nay, it's horses. <laughs> Don't tell him, maybe he doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Only daddy's wearing a silk. Daddy and mommy. Just yeah. daddy and mommy. Hey, can you say yellow? Yellow. I'm so happy we're the yellow team because I love hearing him say yellow. Yeah, because yeah, he'll be saying blue all day. Can you say yellow again? Yellow. Yellow. What about yes, please? 
in the car he said it perfectly. We were, Phil and I, like, we didn't want to get too excited to, like, scare him, but we, like, fist bumped. That, and I feel like in the in the next few episodes, you're eventually going to catch him where he's not being shy on camera when he's saying his, like, re-counting to ten. Mm-hmm. He counts to ten really well. He knows his alphabet up to J. Oh. Baseball, that he cheers for the wrong team. The yellow stripe comes into the yellow. The yellow grounds. What is that? Nene. Nene. <laughs> what? I don't know who this kid is, but this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs>